This is Gadget Stop 321, and today I'm going to do an update to one of my more popular videos using spreadsheets on a Nexus 7. I'm borrowing the kids' Nexus 7 today, and my favorite spreadsheet to use now is the spreadsheet app on the Google Drive. I like to use the Nexus 7 for most applications in landscape mode, and that'll allow me to get in a little bit tighter shot. When you go to your Google Drive, one of the benefits of it is that now Google gives you 15 gigabytes free. That's a huge benefit. If you look at your home screen up at the top, you can click and a menu comes over kind of like the menu on YouTube and you have who you're logged in as and I'm using the kids a Google Drive and you've got the option to go to my drive that folder your shared documents starred documents recent documents documents that you've pinned that you can view offline and uploads we're gonna go to my drive and that's your original uh, home screen here if you look up here you can search through your documents if you have lots of them you can change the view of your uh, menu of documents. You can change it to a list view if you prefer that, or you can have thumbnail view. You can add, add a new folder, add a document, a spreadsheet, or upload a file. You can refresh and your menu over here allows you to filter your list of documents or sort them. It has a huge number of settings you can tweak. You can take a product tour, help, or report an issue. Today we're just going to look at uh, a sample spreadsheet that I already have. So we'll click on that. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit you see that you can add tabs you can if you click on the tab you can duplicate it or rename it you can delete the tab if it's not the only tab you have left you can move the location of the tab if there are other tabs you can move it right or left um, I'm gonna zoom in so you can see more of what's going on if you highlight a column, you can um, change the width of the column. Uh, you've got a lot of settings over here, or up here. And when you're in landscape mode, you don't have to scroll through them. When you're in portrait mode, you may not see all the settings and you have to scroll through them to see the ones on the end. But in landscape, you can see everything. Okay. For formatting, or actually, you can undo or redo. For formatting, you've got several choices of fonts. Or actually, for a spreadsheet, you've only got three choices. For the word processor, you have several. Arial, Courier, New, and New Times Roman, or Times New Roman. You can change the size of your font. You've got the standard bold, italics, underline, strike through. You can change the color of the fonts of that text or you can change the color of the highlight of the text, change the color of the background. You can change the alignment of the text in the cell and you can you can wrap the text to edit a cell click on the cell you want to change and now the keyboard will, will not automatically pop up let me put the keyboard back down um, when you tap a cell the keyboard won't automatically pop up you'll have to um, select the the text box and type in whatever you want to put. Let's say in this second game we 
brought in $700. Okay, enter. And it ups, updates. Another helpful feature is cut, copy, and paste. So if you want to copy or cut a cell, select the cell. Click on it again, and you get the options to cut or copy. I'm going to copy it, and I want to paste it to this cell. So select the cell, tap it, oops, select the cell where you want to put it. Tap it again, and your options come up. Well, tap it twice and paste. That allows you to cut, copy, and paste. It's pretty basic, but if all you need is a basic um, spreadsheet, this works really nicely, and the interface is a lot cleaner than it used to be. When you're done editing, making changes, it goes to just the viewer, and when you're done looking at your changes, you can go back to the menu, and if you want to pin this document, oh, let me go back, if you want to pin this document, you can make it available offline. That way it saves it, when you make a document available offline, it saves it directly to the device and you don't have to worry about having an internet connection. It'll sync it with your Google Drive when you do have an internet connection, but you'll still have access to the document and you can still edit it. And that's just the basics of using a spreadsheet on Google Drive. There are other options out there. Let me see if they're still on here. I had, when this was my tablet, I used Documents to Go, but to be honest, I think I like the Google Spreadsheet best now. Well, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe.